Exploring lakes, rivers, and reservoirs across the country with an unyielding goal to enlighten viewers from a fisheye perspective. Come along and we'll investigate the habitat. Much more than a fishing trip, this is an eye-opening aquatic experience. Welcome to Kim Stricker's Hook and Look. Current throughout a river system is influenced by gravity as the water moves downhill. Stream gradient, flow volume, as well as channel geometrics are all contributing aspects, which vary its velocity, and as a result, will ultimately dictate where and how the fish position themselves. Once located, odds are they're stacked and willing to cooperate. That's a Niagara special right there. You got it. Located on the Niagara River, which drains Lake Erie into Lake Ontario, Niagara Falls straddles the international border between Canada and the United States. Purely breathtaking. You don't just see the falls, you hear them, you feel them, and ultimately, you find yourself immersed in the natural wonder. And as equally inspiring as the falls are, the fishing potential just a few miles downstream will move you as well. The fisherman-friendly town of Lewiston, New York, is where Kim meets up with an old friend, professional angler Bill McDonald. Both arrive eager and armed with a new drop shot bait, Strike King's Half Shell. Everyone. Ah, oh, he come off. Oh, ho, 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 that ho, gun. <laughs> well, it was a bite. That's a good sign. He come back. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like a good one. Good going there, Billy boy. Come on up here. Uh, love these brown oh, fish. Oh, yeah. I don't know who's got who right now. <laughs> Take your time. That's a bad fish. <laughs> there we go. Hey, look how dark they are. That's a beautiful fish right there, Kim. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little old half shell. He ate that thing pretty good, didn't he? Yes, sir. I got a feeling that wasn't the same fish. That Maybe. Came, when it you said be. he came back and I got him that time, I got a feeling there's a bunch of them. I know there. when they come off, I always open the bell and let it go to the bottom. And right. Shake it and see if they come back. Getting back in the danger zone here. Yeah. Look what I'm seeing down there. Yeah. I just got smoked. There we go. There go. They're in this area up here. Good job, good. All right, hey, come off. Hang on, that's twice that's happened. Just a little sliver. Look at that. When you get where they're at, ooh, that looks, that looks like a good one. It'll work. He's pulling on this one. Yes, sir. Come on up here. Ooh, yeah. That's a nice one. <laughs> nice fish. There's a work. chunky one. That's, That's good. a chunker. Good going. Lost my bait, but we'll take him. All right. Think about that. That last one was black. This one's browner. Yeah. You know, it don't have the color. It's got that gold look. And the it. cool thing about it was, it come off, open the bell, let it go down the bottom, show it, it come, another one come I, and got it. I still question if that's the one or if there's a bunch. I think there's a bunch of fish there. And it, this you, one, can, you can see them. This one <laughs> was a lot tighter, pulled a lot more than the first one did. Yeah, there you go. That's Very right. nice. Well, would you let me catch one? Come on, hurry up. Seems like when you get around them, it, they jump right on it. At least yours. Location, location, location. Yeah. I can say though, something that changed me. You know, I grew up fishing the Ohio River and, you know, Indiana where we take turns catching those six fish that we got. Yeah. My first trip that I went up there to Detroit, just, I don't know, catching these brown fish changed me. I, there's awesome. nothing any better than catching a brown fish. <laughs> what am I seeing there? You got them down below you. What am I seeing there? 
I love seeing them and catching them. <laughs> I love seeing them and catching them. I'd kill. <laughs> Get him up here. Let's look whoa, at him. Whoa, whoa. You got a real fish on there? Yeah, oh, that's a G. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a dandy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a stretch job. <laughs> that's a dandy. That's, nice. a, that's a toad. Nice, solid chunk of smallmouth. That's a chunker. <laughs> it is so cool to see them on the helix and dropping it right down. That's a nice That's nice a chunk. Chunk. Gorgeous fish. They are pretty fish. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't care. I've caught a number of these over the years and it's still every one of them some riot. Love the brown fish. That's for darn sure. Well see a fish, thank you. There's plenty more of those brown fish to be caught right after these messages. Hook and Look is brought to you by Strike King Lure Company, number one in fishing lures. Seaguar, trust Seaguar when everything is on the line. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Aquaview, reinventing underwater cameras. And by Indian River, Michigan Tourist Bureau. Pure water, pure trails, pure north. Figure you'd have one by now. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, he just hit it. There, there, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> you get in the right area. They you eat. get in the right spot. They are wadded up there too, aren't they? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like the wild ones. <laughs> oh yeah. Go back here and get him some shade. There you there go. There we go. Kind of cookie cutter, aren't they? Yep. Just good average. Stocky Niagara River smallmouths. Very nice, Billy. It's hooked right in the bottom of the jaw there. Perfect. That is so fun, but they they are, they're stacked in one little wad right there, aren't they? They are. But I mean, look at that little compact football. Yep. Beautiful color, beautiful Hel fish. Healthy, healthy, healthy. You betcha. Go back and get us another one. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> get me back on that trolling motor. Let's do it again. You know, as the current changes too, they probably change how they hold on this um, little pump, I'm whether they're up from it or down. I'm sure they do. Looks like there's grass on top of this hump too. If we drop the aqua view down, we could tell exactly what's down there. I bet we'd see it's a critter or two. There's your eel grass. There's the eel grass, definitely. I'm gonna lift it up above it. I wonder if fish are hanging down there. Look at there, look at look, look, yep. right at the camera. <laughs> it came right at, the, there, look at it, there he goes there off. There goes another one. We're just drifting off it right now. Chunk rock. I'm bouncing the bottom a little Eel bit. Grass. Look at them. It's it's like he was coming to bite the camera. He was gonna eat it. Yeah, that's right. Look at there's, a, there's another yeah. one. Look at how they're kind of holding around that grass. Look at it, there's another one in the background there. I wonder if we're catching them right here. That's right. It's stacked up pretty good. That's the deal. Now I'm in that grass. Yeah, that grass, you can see how the current's laying it down. Yep. That's amazing. Isn't it? Well, it looks like you just cost me a bunch more money. <laughs> now, now I'm going to have to go buy an Aquaview. I mean, it, it, you know, I scuba dive and I can get down there and really pick out the spot on the spot. But fishermen got to realize you can do it with an Aquaview camera this, this as well. This takes the guesswork out of it. Yep. You know, are they or not they there? Right. I'll get down there and personally inspect the, the hump. Find out what that rod is sticking up. Yeah. See, there's an eddy here. We're pretty yeah. much holding right here. We're just setting. And it's those key deals where these fish hold. Current dictates where the fish are gonna be in a river system. Exactly. And once you learn to read the river. You can do some damage. <laughs> it really feels like a good one too. Ah, they just, pull now, they pull. Ooh, that is a nice one. You betcha. Look at them in that clear water. Just bulldogging. That is a good one. 
That's a real good one. On that big old good one oh, or good old that's bacon? A, that's a real good one. <laughs> that is a pig. <laughs> that's a Niagara special there. That is a toad. <laughs> yeah. Look at that gorgeous fish. <laughs> that's why you come to the Niagara River right there. Little old half shell. That half shell, that is a new finesse bait. It's, it's the open pour technology that makes it like a, uh, a hand poured uh, bait, which is very limber and has a lot of action. And the colors, the way they layer them. That is that, a toad. <laughs> look at the gut on that fish. That is a Niagara special, yes. <laughs> Coming up. Kim dives in the oscillating current. Some informative stuff you won't want to miss. Welcome back. The verdant green color of the water flowing over Niagara Falls, as well as its milky clarity, is a byproduct of the estimated 60 tons per minute of dissolved salts and finely ground rock generated by the erosive force of the Niagara River itself. So with that in mind, Kim, along with his cameraman Jason, Prepare to investigate the impact of the shifting current firsthand. I'm gonna go down and see what I got. Keep an eye on my bubbles. Are you copying me, Billy? Yeah, I can hear everything you're saying, Kim. The visibility is definitely milky. I'm looking at a small mop right now. He's swimming along around this eel grass. So that small mouth's in that eel grass looking at your camera? Big one. The current is actually uh, very modest. You know, I mean, it isn't any here. There's a couple of small mouths. They're here, that's for sure. So everything's just like what the aqua view showed us in. Absolutely, just like it. I'm following this small mouth along this edge. I'm in 18 right now. You've got these big patches of Vanna scenario, that's that eel grass. A lot of these fish are holding on that. Are you seeing any of the rock piles at all? So, yeah, I'm seeing them. You should be real close to it right there where we were catching those fish. I'm on one of those pipes. And there's small, small mouths around them, a whole school of them around these pipes. That ain't a small one, that's a nice one there. <laughs> that's what we want, those nice ones. I'm sitting around these pipes, and I got small mouths just circling me right now. Oh man, I got small mouths all over this. There's a stack here. Probably why we were catching them all right there. This is awesome, I wish Jason was down here. We'll be back on this. Yeah, I've got a line on it where we're at right now. You're directly underneath the boat. I mean, there's not one out of them here. And these pipes are just pipes that stick up. But look at these smallmouth. I'm talking, you know, 10, 20. It's awesome. You're going to love the footage, Billy. <laughs> Those fish are trying to figure out what you're doing invading their territory down there. This is incredible. And there is some sheep head mixed in with them. I can see there's a big sheep head right there. Jason's on his way down now. He's coming down to you. I'm right on the bottom amidst all these small mouths. All right, I'm working my way down. Okay, man, I got the small mouth sitting here, baby. You're killing me. I want to fish. <laughs> Keep coming up the run. Turn left. I'm on your left. Come on over here, wait till you see these small mops. Hopefully get some good footage. Just move it slow so I don't stir everything. Pretty wild, they're everywhere down here. And then all of them, and good. Look at them over this rock pile. Big old rocks. Are they positioned out of the current behind those rocks, Kim? We're just in a, in a dead little eddy right here. They're just kind of 
closing all over the place. Looks like the current's just out towards the middle of the river right there from where we're at up on top. Is there any bait fish or anything like that down there or is it just a small mouth? I see gobies all over the place. There's gobies all over the bottom. I mean, just think how much better fishermen you could be if you could go down there like they are right now and look at what's going on. All of a sudden, there's a lot more current here. The current's definitely stronger. We gotta kind of hold ourselves right here. Yeah, that current's taking me. Wow. You gotta hold yourself. So that's why the fish are sitting here. There's a lot of fish right here because of what the current's doing. You know, the particular spot where we caught most of the fish, too, when we first pulled up, it was like a dead eddy area. And then all of a sudden, the current's coming from one direction, and it'd go that way for a little bit, and then it'd switch, it'd come from the other direction. No rhyme or reason. When you think about 750,000 gallons per second coming over that falls and headed down this river, you think all the current's going one way. That's not the case. And those fish are positioned in there in those different current breaks. This is nice because the eddy is right here, and we can hold As I mentioned earlier, current will dictate where the fish will hold, but following our underwater surveillance, we were able to observe not only where, but how they hold depending on the current velocity. The school of bass were loosely wandering around the slack area within eddies as for the vicinity around the pipes. However, when the current amplified, we observed the groups of bass concentrated much more tightly and positioning themselves on the upcurrent side of the humps, facing towards the current, waiting to ambush. Pinpointing these specific spots is key to greater success while fishing in current. But you can see how you need a good abrasive line with all those rocks and zebra mussels and... Exactly. That's a good thing about Seaguar. They make that. There you go. Back in the game. <laughs> good one? He's all right. Yeah, no, that's a good fish. Heck yeah, that's a good one. That going good. He's going where he wants to, too. There we go. <laughs> 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 all right. A little chunker. Yeah. Very nice. Well, half shell does it again. Billy boy. That's a black one, too. Look how dark that fish yeah. is. Each one of these fish are unique. Good going. Will work. They are. We hope you're learning from the one-of-a-kind underwater viewpoint of Hook and Look. We'll be right back. This portion of Hook and Look is brought to you by Ranger Boats. Still building legends, one at a time. Evan Rood, introducing the all-new Evan Rood E-Tech G2. Sims Fishing Products, the choice of professional guides and anglers worldwide. Dr. Edward Lonieski, ethical and effective stem cell therapy. And by Sportfish Michigan, your source for the top charter captains and guides. How you doing? I'm Captain Frank Campbell from Niagara Reason Charter Service. We're here in Lewiston, New York on the beautiful Lower Niagara River. And the neat thing about this area is you have a 12 month a year fishery. Not only do we have great summer fishing, which is bass, walleye, trout, salmon, we also have a winter fishery, which includes trout and salmon. Not only do we have that year-round fishery, we also have size, diversity, and numbers that rivals any place freshwater fishing is found in the country. Double, double, double. double. <laughs> 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 like, we're like two little school kids here. Just having a ball. <laughs> Where's yours at? We'll try and net them together. <laughs> uh, come on up. Mine ain't too bad a fish. I got one in here. <laughs> this is a little better. Yours is a better one. Yeah, another good, good solid one. Yes, sir. I <laughs> <laughs> might come off right there in the net. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Niagara River. Oh. Of course, yours is bigger. You, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, we're what, five miles from the Niagara Falls yeah. catching these fish. And see, and that's what's nice is a guy can come up here and fish, bring his wife. The wife could do all kinds of 
tourist type things. You know, Lewiston's got all those uh, little shops. And yeah, that whole town's full of things to do. Right. And of course, go see the falls and get on the Maid of the Mist. And catch fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. Feels like a good fish, too. Ooh. <laughs> Come on up here. <laughs> Dude, that does feel like another good one. And big old good ones or that good old big ones? Like, like <laughs> <laughs> all the above. Take you easy in that current. Here's another good one. Look at, the, look at that thing. Oh. Well, he's not one of those giant, giant ones, but it's another good solid. It's a chunker now. Niagara smallmouth. One after another. Half shell special. What a great place to come. That is for sure. And it was great to share the boat with my friend Bill McDonald. No doubt it was long overdue. Accommodations in Lewiston provided by the Niagara Tourism and Convention Corporation and the Barton Hill Hotel and Spa. The historically hip inn at the water's edge. Thanks for joining us and be sure to tune in next week when once again we hook and look Hook and Look is a Kim Stricker production.